Cervical cancer is one of the emerging health conditions threatening the lives of many women and girls in Malawi. With this in mind, it is important for women and girls to be well informed on the need for them to demand for cervical cancer screening and treatment from health service providers. Foundation for Community and Capacity Development, FOCAD, is a youth-led organization that promotes sexual and reproductive health and rights of young people through access to quality services, advocacy for sexual and reproductive health and rights, and social and behavioral change communication related to health. FOCAD has been conducting advocacy campaigns aimed at sensitizing women and girls on the importance of cervical cancer screening in Kwaragota and Salima districts. Robert White is the chief executive officer for Tiritonse Foundation and he explains why his organization founded Paramount to support this initiative. The FOCAD project is a governance project, uh, as indicated, and um, what they're currently doing is they're focusing on the increasing access to cervical cancer screening and treatment in Nkota Kota and Salima districts. Now, our role as the Titonse Foundation in supporting them is basically to make sure that the uh, citizens within the two districts, communities within the two districts, especially women and young girls, are able to access services related to cervical uh, uh, cancer screening and treatment. Now, you see that uh, uh, by talking to them, most of the people are now getting this uh, uh, service readily available in health facilities, but even at the health, uh, district health office. Our role as the uh, Tritonse Foundation uh, supporting governance intervention was basically to make sure that this uh, service is available. Uh, communities are aware that the service is available, but again the service and its related uh, products are available for the people to be able to access the treatment and uh, the uh, screening uh, services that are required for uh, uh, cervical cancer. Through the Tilondole project, FOCAD is focusing on advancing cervical cancer screening among the young women, teen mothers and sex workers in the two districts. Dan Tara is executive director for FOCAD. This project is called Tilondole. Uh, the government of Malawi uh, developed the national cervical cancer control strategy. Uh, the strategy provides a number of uh, policy directions in terms of uh, uh, providing services uh, for cervical cancer that includes um, screening and uh, treatment. Uh, we looked at the, uh, one key challenge uh, related to cervical cancer interventions in Malawi, especially in Kota Kota and Salima districts, where we discovered that by uh, this year the government had not uh, fully rolled out implementation of screening services in the most of the health facilities. For example, Colorado District has 21 health facilities. By January this year, uh, we only had three health facilities that were screening for cervical cancer. That meant that uh, women had to travel longer distances to the nearest health facility to get screened. We did the same analysis in Salima District where we discovered that out of 18 health facilities in the district, only uh, two health facilities were screenings for, for cervical cancer. Now, if the strategy was supposed to be implemented from 2016, and now the strategy ends in 2020. So if by 2019 only a few number of health facilities were screening, we identified that that was a problem. In an effort to ensure that cervical cancer screening is accessible to as many women as possible, FOCAD has also been advocating for capacity building of health service providers in the two districts. Trondoli project um, has a goal to ensure that um, health workers, health service providers who are the duty bearers in Nkota Wadan Salima districts are responsive to the needs of um, the three uh, groups of beneficiaries that I've mentioned. Responsiveness in the sense that, number one, the health facilities that are not yet screening were supposed to start screening because as a health service, 
it means it was supposed to be available in all the health facilities. For example, in Kota Kota, in all 21. So if a woman walks into any health facility, she was supposed to be screened and treated for survival cancer. Again, in Salima, if any woman who goes to any nearest health facility was supposed to be screened. We identified a number of issues that made uh, this work impossible. One, that in most of the health facilities, there were no trained providers. So if there's no provider who is trained then, there's no way the health facility could start providing the service. Secondly, most of the facilities had no equipment to support the screening of cervical cancer. FOCAD is working with Nkoragota and Salima district health personnel in a collaborative effort to reach out to as many women and girls as possible in the provision of cervical cancer screening and treatment services. Princess Montari Piri is the coordinator of the cervical cancer screening service at Salima District Hospital and she explains what happens when a client visits the hospital. First of all, we give the health talk so that the women should know more about the cervical cancer. Then thereafter, we take a short note about their parity, their personal history, their age and the like. Then thereafter, we start screening. After screening, we give them the results so that they should know how they are. If they have a very positive or they have cancer suspect or they have got no signs of cancer. Through working with FOCAD, health service providers have seen an improvement in the turnout of women, teen mothers and sex workers seeking cervical cancer screening services. Maona Njibanda is a nursing midwife technician at Nkotakota District Hospital and is the focal person in the Tilondole project. We have been holding meetings with teen mothers, people living with HIV and some youth. So we have been discussing, encouraging each other on the how uh, cervical cancer started, the mode of infection, how it can be prevented and the treatment. Because of the advocacy and the information that uh, our friends are giving out there, more women are now coming for cervical cancer screening. Princess Montali Piri agrees. Before we screened very few women and the turnout was very low. After the intervention of the forecard, we found out that many people they knew about the VIA, the benefits of the VIA screening, and as of now, we are screening a lot of people. Uh, per month, last time, we are screening 200 and something people, but now we are reaching 880 per month. That means we, are, we have achieved a lot. Since the Tilondole project rolled out in February 2019, the number of women demanding cervical cancer screening in Kwaragota and Salima has increased. Kansa wako mulaji belegeru kunoko, linari vuto lali kulu kwa mbili, project isa na yambe. Chifu kwa hati mati tika pita kuchipatala, basi timabwele la usa ezedwa, choncho kumabwele la, basi chifuweche niche nchobwe zela, chosa zwiga, kumaso, chipata chimene chima china ndi fastidite, china ndi manesa amene ama eza kansayo, ndi chapa boma boka. Nde kubwela kwa project imene ikuwa pangisa kuti Pepezeke so and my doctor Raya na apite ku trainingi mo ma health centers mo pepezeke kuti akuye sa so kanso akomala chibelekeiro. Nde zimene zizadi pindu ya chifuka pano ba zima ya mene aize duandu uchuruka amene akuzi waza mene ali amene maone sa kuti vuto la ya mba ana ba saje tandizo chodi a a uzi dirempe ya wodi kanso yoyite e ya nde zimene zizadi tandizo la kuambiri koma so zachuluki sa so chwe ringiro chanda ni ya zima ya mene aize dua. Komiti ya tu ya hagi, komaso maloko lidazi, amizi madari tandiza kutata, nditu urazima, ito wana kuzo yamba, kuzese eta za kasa yako mulaji belege ilovano, chifuambu ya musama eze eta, timajira kwa hatu miza, kuboma, kusalima. Ndiyepa nopa zima ya na jine ngila soyo, chia pindu wembiri, chifuwa saa guluza transporti, kubito salima, hakungo bila pompano kumaeza. Ngati mwezi wa oktoba, umene da yamba, dinaeza zima yoko wana 35. Ndipo mwezi wa November la ure za zima yoko na 28. Usonye za kuri panopa zima ya kujimpe tete ndipo wa kujira ndila. Zwane David Piri is one of the women that has benefited from the project. Ndafika kunoko, anesi yanga simwaka, andira ndila. Ndipo andiforo kwa zira zoso finuwa kushita. Ndaba anga kunobuino. Ndiara ndeza kansa ija. 
ndabeze kaburi neyo sinabeze kendi kansa la komula jibelekeiro meni nabwela kunogo ndina mva afogadi akulengeza kuna kuti tie nazimai tizibira kuchipara kweze sa komula jibelekeiro ndendi ramva ndilo nanzanga ina mena kuzuzi kira ndi kansa komula jibelekeiro chila ntengiro obuino ineyo kuti ya izi ndiza ulele suriso ndizabele kandirama ya ndibide kuchipara la ineyo jabo manza ezeti chifukwa afogadi Mateka kuti zisuruzo sisi mene araba ngeru razineza kansa adanti guli laga ale neyo. Njende nina kupita maulele nizika nika ezese. Njende nina kupita maulele nizika nika ezese. Njende nina kupita maulele nizika nika ezese. Komaso, tisana ezese kansa ama tisana ezese magasi. Njende nina kupita maulele nizika nika ezese. 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 Mary Piri is another beneficiary of the Tirondole project in Koragota. Health workers suspected her of developing cervical cancer upon going for screening, and they recommended her for cervical cancer treatment. She is glad she was screened. Ndata nduo na luku dala, nduo sasa na uda. Mene muli limu, shifa jwati pa nupa mashina tuwa, nduo pele wea, mubite unkutakora. Ndeni tabito unkutakora, nandieza, zimina na nduo za panova, nchi mozi mozi, nduo zimina na nduo za unkutakora. Kuja nampo, nduo sa treatment. Mankwala. Kana nduo zoti, mga kama mankwala, after three weeks, mga mwere soti za kone. Ndeni tabito mga mankwala, nda pitasu. Kwa nduo na, nduo sasa na uda, ababa bola, nso bano, Ti malashi tijeta kanga tukuti tukuta sovano kumamukapi tize kumama nkwala. Kumandita mama nkwala kufikila panopa na unawati mwe wanga sovano ndo sanga. Other beneficiaries of the Tirondole project are teen mothers as they too are vulnerable. Grace Piri is a teen mother who is encouraging fellow teenagers to go for screening. Kupungu mina amandipa sao yibara laguno. Amandu uzezoni na kuta ayueo. Ndakupe za kuti ulibe, ulibe kasayo. Kumano, mwina ukama zilabu wa ntubi mwako, ndi mene mwini, uliso ndu fulu kuno somari veza. Kuti tizeta takuku ni hila mwina mwina kuti kuti ntu mwako mwenda mwanji. Ndu kwa hali mbikitabe, anzanga kuti asa foge, kuno kwa zibo la nditu. Akaribu wa isi lajipangizo, yo, yori, akampe za nae kasayo, azita kumuji ziladu. The increase in the number of women and girls seeking cervical cancer screening and treatment can best be attributed to the increase in the number of health centers offering these services. From February up to date, in Nkwadawada district alone, we've moved from three health facilities to 13 health facilities that are now screening for cervical cancer. So we've got a few that are remaining, but uh, a lot of achievements have been made in the sense that if in, uh, at national level, uh, they have engaged into the trainings of the providers and the allocation of trained providers in the health facilities. In Salima now, we have moved from 2 to 12. We've got 12 health facilities that are now screening for cervical cancer after a lot of meetings and engagement sessions done, and a number of health providers also have been trained. And one thing we've also registered is that in most of these health facilities now, uh, equipment have been distributed by the Department of HIV and AIDS providing uh, a, a, a conducive environment that women should not travel longer distances. As part of the Tilondole project, FOCAD also reaches out to sex workers. This is one group that is most vulnerable to cervical cancer by virtue of the nature of their work. We went out in both districts in Kwaragota and Salima and did the mapping of hotspots. Hotspots are places where we'll find the, the female sex workers. When we mapped the hotspots, now we, we knew how many uh, sex workers are there in the hotspots. Now we had to uh, group the hotspots into zones and elect the leadership there before we engaged into training them mentorship because one other approach that we are using is what we call community rights skills clinics where we are going to gather the female sex workers, talk to them about their rights first before uh, we discuss about the services. Because when they understand it from the right perspective, then they are able to explain and demand and then even defend their own rights. We combine them with the district network, 
the district peer HIV network, and then the district sex workers network. So they are not only identified as sex workers, but now they are identified as rights educators, health rights educators. With that identification, it is very easy for them to integrate well with the larger community. Esme Jens is a volunteer working with FOCAD in the Tirondore project, and she has been in the forefront advocating for cervical cancer screening among her peers at Kamuz Road in Salima. Sex workers like Patuma Addison and Patuma Hare, who ply their trade at Kamuz Road, are grateful that now they have an opportunity to go for cervical cancer screening services and are able to know their status. The Foundation for Community and Capacity Development, FOCAD, has reached out to women and girls in Salima and Kwaragota, advocating and sensitizing them on the imperative of cervical cancer screening. We are very much satisfied. You know, when you are doing a uh, governance uh, intervention anywhere, it's not an end on its own. Uh, you do governance as a, a conduit to make sure that the uh, development takes place. So on our part as the Tose Foundation, we've been able to mobilize communities. We've been able to uh, press service providers like uh, the district health office to provide this service. As a result, you, rea uh, you see that uh, a lot of uh, people within Kota Kota and the uh, Salima districts are able to access this service. So for us, that's uh, an achievement. It's a result because our uh, governance interventions or our go governance activities that we're supporting through uh, FOCAD have, been, have led to access for this service to be more in the two districts. So for us, that's a success and that's a result. FOCAD has also helped build the capacity of health service providers in the two districts. What remains as of now is to see that the progress that has been realized in the two districts rolls out to all districts in the country. We had two key outputs or strategies used in this project. Number one was to build the capacity of these three groups, female sex workers, women living with HIV and teen mothers, so that they're able to interface and demand for these services from the health workers because sexual productive health is a right. Our entry point was through the networks. One, we looked at uh, the network of people living with HIV to support in advocacy and holding the duty bearers accountable. We also looked at the distributed networks to support the teen mothers in speaking uh, for them to access their services. And again, we also established, mobilized sex workers and started uh, zonal networks and even the district network for female sex workers. So we've used and worked with these groups after training them uh, in health rights, advocacy and negotiation skills to be able now that they can start demanding for the, for the quality services in the health facilities. From the interventions that FOCAD is involved in, one message is clear. L, cervical cancer screening and treatment saves life. 
hence the need for women and girls to demand these services from the providers. <laughs>